Two years ago, during the debate on whether to decriminalise sex between men, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong had clearly stated that the conventional family, a heterosexual stable family, is the norm and building block of Singapore society. But the government also recognises that homosexuals are part of the society. Homosexuals work in all sectors, all over the economy, in the public sector as well, and in the civil service as well. They are free to lead their lives, free to pursue their social activities. So these issues. That position the has not changed. Deputy Prime Minister Wong Kan Seng said the government was not going to be pressured into changing its position on homosexuality before the takeover of AWARE. Nor does the government intend to change its position now that the old guard has recaptured AWARE. He added as Singaporeans become more educated and informed and more space being opened up for people to express alternative views, there will be more tussles between people holding different points of views. If any group pushes its agenda aggressively, there will be strong reactions from other groups. As for the AWARE controversy, the government was worried about the disquieting public perception that the group of conservative Christians had moved in and taken over AWARE because they disapproved of what the organisation had been doing. Hence, he was gratified that the National Council of Churches of Singapore issued a clear statement that it doesn't condone churches getting involved in the AWARE dispute and that leaders of different religious faiths came out to reinforce the NCCS message. Mr Wong said the government has to maintain order impartially. It encourages the development of civic society and gradual widening of out-of-bounds or OB markers, but it will not stand by and watch when intemperate activism threatens Singapore society. Asked for his comments on the May 2nd AWARE EGM, which saw the new EXCO being voted out, Mr Wong said both sides must now calm down and move on.